Hello and welcome for the third uh, dev blog for Iron Front Desert Rats update. Uh, today we are going to focus on the weapons animations and all the new gameplay features that are going to be released with the Desert Rats update. Uh, so in order, after weapons animations, we're going to review the bayonet system, the new grenade launcher and rifle grenade uh, changes we did the white phosphoric grenade number 77 uh, the changes done to the flamethrower and finally the bagpipes so let's start right now uh, so Gustavo made all the end animations for all British weapons uh, you must have noticed in the previous dev blog about weapons that the guns were not finished yet so here it's done with uh, reload animations for every British weapon and and enemies of course so let's uh, let's browse through them here is the Sten MK5 with the front grip and uh, the Piat which was quite terrible uh, is now looking like a rifle here with a specific reload animation there and it's uh, spring sound um, the next weapon are the lian fields nothing very specific here uh, the Bren with also here its own animation and this brings us uh, to the sorry to the launcher version of the Piat here so this one you won't be able to shoot it uh, while prone whereas the rifle version you can but this one allows you to carry a main uh, yeah main weapon as well so here i can carry uh, alien field for example whereas when i'm using the rifle version this is not possible um now for the bolt action rifles uh, we have a brand new uh, animation system for the reloading so for single clips we'll have this so the clips is pushed inside close the bolt for the two clips version so they are mostly the end fields let's take the number one we have two clips loading in so you will notice that the bullets are not perfectly animated yet it's something i have to fix but you see the clip is going to um you're going to see the clips uh, twice uh, to be noted that we are working on a script that will allow you to reload only one clip if you are uh between five and ten and two clips between if you are between zero bullets and five left uh, and finally for the sniper rifles we have a bullet per bullet reloading like this so this applies of course to every uh, bolt action rifle and sniper so that's it for the big changes in terms of uh, of uh, weapon animations. We are now going to move on to the bayonet system. So the bayonet system works is quite simple to use. So I'm going to here yeah, pick up a bayonet in the arsenal. I'm going to unload it just for now put it in my backpack so I have my standard client field here and then if I press fire mode nothing happens so let's say my squad leader asked me to fix the bayonet so I'm here with my bayonet 
attached to the rifle. And as soon as the bayonet is mounted, you can press F and it's going to enable the bayonet muzzle and allow you to stab forward like this. You can stab in any movement. You can sprint and stab. You can stab from uh, prone, crouch, uh, sprinting, etc. So let's check out now on my fellow German soldiers. So those are the, this one is a dummy. And I'm going to stab in like this. So oh, is this working? Uh, if we are going into the camera mode, you have, uh, it's not working as you would expect it to work, meaning that a bullet is fired each time the animation is played. In fact, we attach two points uh, here and the projectile is going to follow those two points. And if the uh, the pike is, or the, the stinky point of the bayonet is hitting the target, then you'll touch it. It means that if I start here and correct my movement, meanwhile, I'm still gonna hit. It's not going to be like a bullet and fired and then miss because uh, the bullet went away. No, it's really stick to the to the bayonet so you can correct at the very last second your your step. Uh, now in terms of damages uh, it's working the um, you have two things to take into consideration. The first thing is the animation so if I'm stabbing like this uh, the point uh, you're going to do the most damages on the way forward and at the very and uh, middle of the animation, so when the, the bayonet is the further from me. And when the bayonet is moving backwards, you're still going to do damages, but the damages are exponentially lower the later it is. So it means that if I'm doing this, I'm doing a lot of damages. If I'm doing this, I'm not doing a lot of damages. You see that I hit the guy on the way back and uh, just add it by moving forward. Uh, so just showing it again here. Uh, now the second thing to take into consideration is the relative speed between uh, you and your target. It means that if I'm going forward on a target that is going forward, I'm going to do the maximum damages ever. If I'm going back backward and st stab it in a in a um, reverse motion, which is very hard to do on a st static target, but I think you get the thing. Then I'm going to do much less damages. So you have these two things uh, that uh, are uh, calculated and the possibility to hit uh, and to correct the trajectory in real time. Of course, this is fully MP compatible. Uh, it will record you as a killer if you have a kill feed in your mission, oh. and so on. So just to finish with the bayonet uh, demonstration, let's uh, stab this guy, which is uh, not godlike this time. Sorry, when he dies, uh, it's going to be one shot in the chest mostly, uh, two hits to the limbs. And it's enabled for, I'm going to review all the bayonet models now. It's enabled for the number four and the uh, Enfield. The number one with the World War, World War One bayonet, which is very long. It's enabled for the Stenmark five here, same as the Enfield uh, number four bayonet. Uh, it's enabled for every weapon that can, every rifle that can receive a bayonet. So here are the uh, Mosin bayonets that you already uh, saw if you are used to play Iron Front. It's uh, in for a f yeah maybe a year and a half, but it was just cosmetic. So now you can use it. And same on the M44 rifle, you have the side bayonet here, which is now switchable to being useful and here I'm back firing mode, the bayonet is 
rotate it back into position. Unfortunately, due to some engine limitation, we can't. It's it's instant swap, so we can't animate it uh, much better. But you have the option, and the bayonet is included directly. Uh, the other gun that allows this is the FG42 here, which had a, bay a bayonet just there between the bipod. So you have to swap twice this time. You are in full auto, single, uh, semi-auto, sorry, and uh, bayonet. The bayonet is very small, not very useful, but if you want to make some silent kill in an infiltration mission in PvP, it's quite useful. Um, of course, the car 98, which had its bayonet and it's now enabled for melee. And the M1 Garand, which has here a new model, uh, bring especially in the Desert Rats update, so brand new. And it's also going to fit on the Springfield, which received the very same model. Uh, about the sounds, the bayonets have different hit sounds, so you have flesh. Hello, flesh here, dirt, concrete, and metal. So that's it for sounds, maybe more in the future, but uh, that's the basic uh, take that. Uh, basic layout, some layout. Uh, so that's it for the bayonets. I hope you guys are quite hyped because we are personally very proud of this system. And we're sure that it's going to bring some fun into your multiplayer's uh, PvP missions. Uh, now back to the end field, uh, we are going to review the uh, grenade launcher, so it's going to work quite the same, so you have your grenade launcher available in the arsenal, uh, you have to, you can dismount it, aim normally, and if I press F there is no second muzzle enabled, so as soon as I mount it, I'm going to enable here the rifle grenade mode. Uh, You'll be careful that on some rifle, the at grenade launcher attachment is going to prevent you to aim uh, decently, so you want to mount it, dismount it, to still be able to fight. Uh, the big difference, if you're used to virtual arsenal, is that the grenades are now showing up in the ammunition you can carry directly in your weapon, so it's much easier to equip yourself at the mission starts. And so I'm in firing mode here. I'm swapping with F to rifle grenade and here you have a new aiming system uh, with incremented distance from 50 meters to 250. This. And as soon as I swapped, I want to reload a grenade. So I'm pressing R and loading the grenade and I'm ready to fire. So you see plenty of new interesting things to notice. First, the reload animation, the sound of the firing itself, which is much more powerful than before, and the delayed explosion. It means that every green grenade, so the Mills bomb and the MK2 grenade for the M1 Garand, is going to um, explode with its delayed time fuse and not instantly like before. So same for here, the M1 Garand, same models as usual. Okay, I re reloaded the clip. So same, I have the incremental aiming, I can reload the grenade and boom. And now if I load the anti-tank grenade, it's instant explosion. So let's have a look at it in 
the exterior view so the sun is playing full speed so you see every stance has its own animation makes it very immersive and much more user friendly than it was earlier. A uh, few changes, so it's enabled of course for the uh, Lian Fields, the new weaponry for the British. It's also enabled now on the STG44, uh, same system as the K98, same ammunitions. Uh, and that's it for the grenade launcher. So a second system we are very proud of uh, bringing it to a very higher level of uh, uh, ease of access and uh, immersive quality and that will be included directly in the Desert Threats release. Uh, now we're going to move on to the uh, white phosphorus grenades. So you have to equip this one, the number 77 grenade phosphorus. So I'm going to take a bunch of them in my backpack. So it's a grenade that is uh, going to throw white phosphor into the air. So it visually looks like uh, um, an instant smoke grenade at the very difference that um, is going to be deadly if you are moving inside the smoke particles. The reason for this is that the phosphor is going to burn and if you inhale it on or have it on your water or clothes, it's going to basically set fire or you're going to uh, have phosphor on your skin and phosphor can burn even without oxygen so you don't want to have any contact with it. So first visually it looks like this. And now it will do some explosion radius damage from the TNT that is inside and then uh, air damage. So I'm going to throw another one to kill those two Germans here. So my own uh, character is invincible, so I'm going to work inside and I won't die, but I'm going to have the pain feedback. Yeah, the sound, I have a sound error from the very lat latest build, but you're going to have some pain uh, sounds like, uh, uh, like this and the red the red tilting when you throw a grenade. So I had an, an AI here, but as I killed two Germans, it went full rebel, throw me a grenade and flee inside the countryside. Too bad. So yeah, uh, quite a big radius of damage. Uh, very useful to clean uh, buildings, it's also going to be um, damaging the cargo on top of vehicles or an, uh, exposed uh, cargo, uh, exposed crew. So very few things to fix, including the sound. I don't know why it, it was working on the build I played earlier tonight, but whatever. Um, Another some changes. Uh, that's, that's it for the white phosphorus. Uh, some changes we have done now to the flamethrower. Uh, so the flamethrower, what did change is that before you would fire some rays and um, uh, like bullet, you would fire bullets and fire would spawn around the trajectory of your bullet. So it's pretty much working the same accepted that uh, instead of having only the bullet projectile doing damages, which meant that you had uh, like a point traveling through space and if this point did hit you, you were instantly killed. So that was 
how it worked. So basically a slow bullet with a very small range. Uh, now how this works is that you're going to burn because of the flame particle instead of being hurt by the bullet, which means that any of those fire particles here are going to hit to burn you a bit slower than you will die a bit slower than what a bullet would have done, but you're still going to die very fast because of the amount of particles that you will receive. So what it changed in practice, in practice is that if I did like here hit the the side of the of the fence, uh, fire would just stop at the fence, and if you were just like this behind, you wouldn't have been hit because the bullet would have hit the fence. Now with the particles, you are going to burn even if the shooter isn't very uh, accurate. And we are going to experience it right now with some uh, nice friendly units that are probably going to shoot at me because I killed some Germans earlier. They're very fast to turn around. Let's place another one. So have a look at where I'm firing and No, we are right on it. Is instead it, and now I'm going to fire next to it, and he still died. So it's even more deadly as before. But since it's a short distance weapon, it's quite hard to get close to the uh, your enemy. I don't know why he fired the fucking flare gun to me, but okay. <laughs> So let's move on to the last system now, uh, which was the backpipe. So I'm going to uh, take back my backpack here. So the backpipes are in launcher. Don't worry, all the UI pictures of the British stuff is not final at all. So here I, am, here I am with my backpipe. Uh, so how this works, you have two ways to play it. First way, you activate the manual play mode and you are a musician because you're going to be able to play the notes by yourself. yourself. So you can play a drone sound. Like this. And you can play notes. Uh, like this and so if you're uh, at ease with uh, music which I am but I'm not used to the English notes like C is uh, not named C in my in French so <laughs> I know C but I don't know the other ones so so like this you can play a song and make uh, it a bit of a troll or play funny sounds or whatever. The other way to play it, which I prefer personally, but <laughs> because of my missing uh, background maybe, is to press R like I would reload it and it's going a, a list of, of sound is going to appear. Uh, here we have one demo sound and for uh, license uh, reason and uh, copyright reasons we have we will have only one demo sound that is a placeholder and hopefully we will be able one day to record a piper. Uh, little message if you are a piper we are interested in recording you uh, for our uh, <laughs> or uh, backpipe sound uh, library, but uh, in case you're not a paper, we will release a separate add-on with about 20 sounds, 20 backpipe sounds, but you will have to get it separately. Otherwise, you will have the demo sound, this one. So I have simply to select it. It stop playing, press escape, and here I play.
if I press left click, it's going to stop the sound. And if I press left click again, uh, it's going to start again from the beginning. It's still work in progress and we hope to be able to include a pause and resume uh, system. So you don't have to uh, restart from the beginning if you just want to make a break or uh, I don't know for whatever, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so now I'm going to just show you how it looks like uh, over distance. So I'm going to start playing. So that's it, you have about uh, 300, 300 meters uh, of uh, radius, sound radius. We are going to tweak it a bit because it's very loud when you're close to it. And it's the, the curve of the um, sound attenuation is maybe not uh, very uh, good. If you have any feedback about it, don't hesitate to post it in the comment in the videos or on our Discord. Uh, this is Till, of course, subject, subject to change. And that's it for this dev blog. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and uh, the Desert Rats update should come now very soon. Trademark. Uh, the next dev vlog and the last one will be about the vehicles uh, not to name it the Crusader MK2 Crusader MK1A uh, Universal Carrier Cromwell uh, and I think that's it as we already did the, the boats yeah I don't think I forget anything uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time for the last dev vlog and for the Desert Rats release. I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Bye bye.